we've got some really good wind and we managed to sail right up from Stromboli up the coast of Italy um, up to well the Amalfi coast towards Naples so I can't believe how much sailing we've managed to do actually it's really good the only problem is the lack of sleep Shares as deep as the sea No matter how rough Things may come to be You and me We're family Sing ho Hey long for the ride Ho Hey I'll stay by your side Ho Hey you'll always be Alright By me Yes Alright morning we have gone overnight from Volcano past Stromboli had some spectacular sights of the volcano there and then we thought we'd head for the Italian mainland um, the wind didn't look as though it was going to be in our favor but it actually turned <clears throat> just at the right time so we decided to press on all the way to the southern end of the Gulf of Salerno um, on the way to the Amalfi coast which is where we want to be so we've actually saved ourselves a couple of days sail by sort of going through the night which is great because um, the winds are turning tomorrow from the north and that's going to mean we, means we're going to have to stay put for a few days. We're doing three hour watches, three on, three off, which will take us nicely in the next three hours to just the southern end of the Salerno Gulf. I'm probably sounding far more fresh than I uh, actually feel because um, I've got another three hours on until eight o'clock and then the kids will be up by then uh, wanting breakfast and lots of attention Just around this corner is the Amalfi Coast, which is supposed to be one of the most beautiful coastlines in Europe. In fact, it's a UNESCO heritage site as well. So we're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, we're going to catch up on some sleep, catch up on some schooling, have something to eat and relax for the day. There's never really many boats around when we go sailing. I always kind of wonder whether we're the only ones doing this. <laughs> we just end up being on your own a lot of the time, which is quite nice. But you do wonder where everyone is. We are heading round the coast and we're crossing the Gulf of Salerno and we're heading to Amalfi and then we might even try and get to Capri. So that's the plan. Amalfi Coast is supposed to be one of the most beautiful. So we're quite curious to see that. But it's also very expensive. Probably rarely get anything less than 100 euros a night without a water or electricity. Sometimes even a mooring buoy. So we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to just anchor wherever we can. So we're kind of nice close hauled here um, with one reef in the Genoa, no reefs in the main and we've not been getting our mizzen out because we found it doesn't help us point so high, we think. So we're just leaving that as it is. Six and a half knots. We're going to go as far as we can until the wind changes. Wind's due to change at about one and come from completely opposite direction and this is going to die off. So then we'll probably tack up to the town of Amalfi. So that's the Amalfi coastline, UNESCO World Heritage Site. And that dead ahead is Amalfi, and down there is Salerno. And out there in the distance is Capri, which is where we're heading after here. This is the Amalfi, the city of Amalfi. So we've come here, it's a major glamorous kind of city. We've come here with our rubbish. 
And um, we found this pontoon, we were paying 10 euros rather than on the main quay to um, look after it for a few hours. So, um, yeah, it's all happening here. It's beautiful. Can't wait. So we anchored in Amalfi, as you know, and we walked up the hill to the Museum of Paper Making. This is how they actually used to make paper, and I think we're going to see it happening. It's quite exciting. Ladies first. Okay. You write before. Mm -hmm. Should I do a cabinet? Okay. No, whatever's easier. Oh, right. Small ones. Then, small ones. Mozzarella cheese, pizza margherita. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we felt the water. Yeah. 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 Here. Yeah. Press. Press it. Yeah. Press it down. Squeeze water out. Water, boil, convert in gelatin. Dip in gelatin, press, again dry, smooth. Ink does spread, gelatin absorb ink. What a mark. Tsukashi. So this section is where the river comes in and this is, gives the energy for all the machines. Now, you go on there. because you actually got to see what happened and they were very interactive and they didn't mind that we like touched the machines and the paper. And, like they actually let you make the paper and they like, didn't mind. It has lots of different ways to do it and like you, you can use wood, you can use cotton, there's different techniques just to make paper. Well it is, a, it is an art. Bland and stracciatella. Amalfi and limoncello. Pistachio and coconut. The pizza. best pizza in the world. Mm. Saturday night thing, or there's some kind of celebration. Amalfi now. We stayed here one night and we really enjoyed walking up through the town. It's all just sort of built on this sort of rock face and now we're going to um, hop along the coast a few hours to Capri, the famous island of Capri. So apart from paper making, Amalfi is also famous for its lemons and all of those terraces you see up there are lemon groves. 
there's fireworks last night and after the fireworks um, we think there's a stray fireworks set fire to one of the lemon groves on the far hills and we watched the fire kind of sweep through one of the lemon groves which is really sad to watch I find it interesting how they've built on the side of its cliff face they've built these kind of roads along I mean there's a huge open cave and above it they've built a road and then loads of little houses and it's all just sort of clinging to the side of this rock face but it's really fascinating There's a lovely little anchorage tucked in just behind that mini peninsula there just around the corner from Amalfi. That is the Serranusas Islands, part of the Companion Archipelago. And legend goes that this is where the sirens lived, the sirens from Greek mythology that lured sailors to their death by singing to them and luring them onto the rocks. So we thought we'd um, just head to Capri um, for one night. We thought we'd just anchor off a quiet little bay. Um, and we thought since it's September it might not be too crowded but I don't know if you can see in the background but there are loads in there and I was checking on the AIS and it looks absolutely packed in there so this must be where super yachts come to breed in the Mediterranean I reckon and uh, I was just reading on some of the reviews and it was saying just forget about trying to get your dinghy ashore because they just shoo you away unless you've got a couple of million quid in your back pocket to spend that must be all the exclusive places that you can go um, if you have a lot of money. <laughs> That's the James Bond house up there, right on the top of that cliff, with a kind of big c cave underneath it. This black super yacht is looking cool. After having a little look on the southern side of Capri, we've now come round to the northern side and we're going to see whether we can find an anchorage here for the night. Um, we thought it might be quieter and it kind of does look quieter um, when you sort of think of the Italian definition of quietness. just off Capri and we were going to go and um, explore ashore but I don't know whether we've got time now because um, once schooling's done and I'm trying to upload the video and um, everyone's got stuck into stuff like cooking and making music. Hey, Ewan's making stir fried rice aren't you? Derry is making music. And Rowan is writing. Usual stuff really, life aboard. But um, We'll see, because we really want to get over to Naples to see uh, Mount Vesuvius. This path just goes up and up to the top of the Piazzetta, which shows the other side of Capri. So we're gonna go and try and see the view. I wish I was rich and famous. So this is the island of Capri. We first of all came around this side, near the needles, and it was so packed we couldn't even get an anchor down anywhere. So we had to drive all the way around and then we've anchored up here and then we found somewhere to put the dinghy here and now we're around about here in the middle somewhere
got a sneaky feeling we won't be eating that tonight. Starters are 22 euros. Well, I'll give you love a few. Average. <laughs> We've picked up anchor and we're going to head to Naples because we want to go and visit Mount Vesuvius. The kids have done a lot on volcanoes lately since our visit in Stromboli. And we're very keen to see Pompeii and the Herculean Museum and Mount Vesuvius. But the wind's not exactly in our favor today. We're going to have to motor for about three or four hours to get across. It's a very busy channel between Capri and the mainland, the Amalfi Coast over there. But at least it's flat seas and we should be in Naples or near Naples within about three hours. That is Mount Vesuvius. Supposedly the most dangerous volcano in the world because of its unpredictability, its explosive nature and the amount of people who live around it. I think there's about three million people who live around this volcano who are considered to be in the danger zone if it ever erupts again. We're in a place called Torre de Annunziata, which is just up the coast from Naples. Marinas and the moorings in Naples itself are quite busy and very expensive. So we're kind of in the badlands at the moment. It's the poor part of town, as you can probably tell by the coastline. Um, and we have Mount Vesuvius, obscured by this massive silo here. Um, but it does mean that we're closer to Pompeii and Herculaneum. We have friends who used to live in this area and they say that Vesuvius not as spectacular as the other volcanoes we visited um, in Stromboli and in Vulcano. We're a bit reluctant to leave the boat in this area because as I say it is a poor area and everything's locked up. Even in the supermarket yesterday when we went to pick up some goods uh, there was a security guard who confiscated all of our bags and insisted on sort of searching them before we went in. So obviously theft is quite common around here um, which makes us a bit reluctant to leave the boat. But um, to see these places, we've got to take a few risks. So that's what we're going to do today. Do a bit of a day trip, a bit of an educational tour of Herculaneum. Like Pompeii was completely buried in the eruption in 79 AD. And it's supposed to have the best preserved relics from that time. It's smaller than Pompeii and is less touristy. So this is our geography field trip today, Herculaneum. So this is the Herculaneum Archaeological Site and it is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I think it's the washing area and uh, then we had two big saunas. So the reason um, the roof survived is because um, I think it was because it was in a kind of really hard structure. They put grooves in the roof so the um, roof used to run down the grooves and back into here and turn into steam. So yeah, it's quite disturbing really, like 300 people were found in these storerooms that were leading onto the beach 
and um, it looks like they've all tried to escape but the heat from the volcano actually killed them in the end. They found some of their last possessions with them, jewellery and a few coins. Yeah, you can see how they kind of maybe just were trying to hold on to each other or tripping up to try and get away from the heat but that's how they've stayed for thousands of years. The city is still standing. They were more preserved than I thought they would be. A few of the bones were like kind of sad because they were holding hands and there were a few that were like screaming. It was a bit... It is really disturbing to see them like that and like that. It's just... It's an ice cream. We're heading out into the Gulf of Naples, past the Phlegrian Islands, on our way to Sardinia. Um, we got caught out in a bit of a lightning storm yesterday, so we had to run for cover. Um, so I put us a little bit behind, but we've got a nice bit of wind today. It should take us right through the night and into the next day, and we're ready to go. Aren't you navigating? No. I'm probably lost then. <laughs> got an entire empty coastline and we've got an Italian boat anchored and it's about half a boat length away and the rest of the anchorage is completely empty. This is a Herculaneumlian archaeology. So it's Herculaneum. 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 This is a Herculaneum archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Herculaneum archaeological site. This is a Herculaneum ar ar archaeological site. This is a Her Her This is a Herculaneum. So this is a Herculaneum archaeological site, and it is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And me with family, no matter how. So thanks again for watching guys, don't forget to check out our other pages on Facebook and Instagram. And finally a big thank you to our patrons who keep us going. If you want to become a patron, check out our patron page and check out all of the bonus content we do as well. <laughs>